What's going on everybody? I'm the King of Fitness and we're back, baby. House of No Bullshit Part 2, baby. Yeah, we got our new participants in this thing and they locked in already. Yeah, it's about to go down. I can't wait for you to meet them. Matter of fact, I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Let's go, baby. I'm Yamika. I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana. I joined the house to uh, get my life back. I've been struggling with my weight for a while after an injury. No better place than Corey. I've been following Corey for a while, known him for a very long time, and I knew that he could mentally kind of get me where I need to be because my issue is mental. So that's why I'm here for seven days. My name is Shantae. Um, I'm here in the house of No Bullshit to just make a better life for myself. Uh, I'm always putting everybody before me and it's just time to just put me first, lose this weight and just see, what, see what's gonna happen. Hi you guys, my name is Tisha, also known as Industry at the Gym, that's my nickname here. Um, I joined the House of No Bullshit for obviously results, but to challenge myself. I am not a person that has always loved going to the gym. However, this is gonna challenge me, this is gonna change my mindset. It's not easy, we're going on workout four, I'm tired, but I'm excited to see my results and my mindset. Hey y'all, my name is Isaiah, and the reason I chose the come to House on the Bullshit is because it's really a me versus me thing right now. And for so long, I've been like choosing everybody, not putting myself first. Um, but then when my health started to get real bad and the doctors told me I got signs of pre-diabetes and I just turned 25, I said, okay, yeah, enough is enough. So I made this, this decision for me and I really hope to get the best results out of it. Come on, six. You ready to hold your whole team up because everybody ain't like they can't do it. Eight. Eight. Just leave you out the drive. Come on, boo. Nine. Stay in there. Can I get a low chill? Low chill. Yeah, this shit hurt my knees. Don't drop me, girl. Don't fucking drop me. You better not fucking drop me, girl. I'm telling you. You want to do what you want to do and don't eat right. Don't be disciplined dedicated. You know, this is what happens. I feel like the world is on your shoulders. You know, that's why you gotta do what you gotta do. You hear down there? Three. And the world don't even give a fuck. The world see you crumbling, and Five. guess what they do? Put more weight on you. Six. That's what the world does. Seven. If you out there looking for sympathy, looking for a motherfucker to feel sorry for you, lock yourself in your room. Because the only person gonna feel sorry for you is your sorry. Come on, come on. Don't you drop that. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. You got it. You got it. Do not drop it. Baby, I'm see nigga eat breakfast and whoop ass. We about to win this nigga this morning. We're lunging all the way down. Lunging all the way down. We're about to win this nigga this morning. We're lunging all the way down. And running back. Ain't nothing else you can do, but this is the easiest to get. Or if you gain 180 pounds, you think this shit gonna be easy for you. Let's go, wait up on your head. Let's get the fucking moving. Let's go. <laughs> Take off. Start over, start over. What don't you understand? You gotta run, start over, it ain't walking. Who you see? Show me somebody that's walking right now. Show me, show me, show me. Them young people that you in the fucking house with. Yeah, look at everybody else. Look at the people who been here. You ain't, and don't, and don't act like you as equal to these women who double your age. Wake up and run. Take off. Speed that up. Don't drop that weight on your head. It'll start over. So you had a bad day. Take it one down. You single bad soul trying to turn it around. Look at that. Come on. You want to be coddled. Ain't nobody coddling you, yo. Ain't nobody calling you. You got some choices to make in your life. You're gonna have to make them. You're gonna have to make these choices. Like, tell me why, tell me what reason you can't do it. Your hands work, your feet work. Tell me why you can't do it. Yeah, it's heavy. You heavy. You're right. You gotta get unheavy so this shit can get a little easier to you, correct? Well, you can't get unheavy by not doing it. You have to do it. You have to put the work in. That's why you signed up. You know damn well that's why you signed up. You gotta stop fucking giving up and thinking that somebody gonna keep pushing you. Ain't nobody gonna keep pushing you. Doctor gonna keep pushing you meds. You know what the doctor already told you? What he told you? 
You was pre. No, no, say that shit with confidence, nigga. You was pre diabetic, correct. So that means if you don't get this shit together, they gonna cut the pre. And what are you gonna be? Diabetic, like my dad. And you know my dad fucked up. Stroke, can't walk or talk. You know? That's what's gonna happen. You have no other choice. You have no option in this life. It's you versus you. I can want you to do this shit. I can show you how to get the shit done. You gotta pick the weight up and put the work in. You can keep screaming about this heavy and you can't do it. That's not gonna help you. I'm telling you, you better figure out a motherfucking way. Let's go. Whew. Shit just went crazy, as you just seen. We lost one. That's insane. This was one of the most motivated ones when she first came. She came and she told us, I really want this. She told me that the doctor told us she was pre-diabetic and she, she was determined to prove that to the doctor that she was gonna shake her health back. She told me that, she looked me in my goddamn eyes and she told me that lie. 25 years old, 25 years old, 265 pounds, and she quit on herself. She walked out on her health. She walked out on her life. She left her team still here. They still here, getting their ass whooped. And she left, she's gone with the win. We wish her the best. I'm not mad at her, I'm not mad at her decision. She's just upset about the outcome because I knew what she could be. I know what she could turn into. I used to be 311 pounds. I used to have those mental battles that she was having. I used to didn't want to run and didn't want to work out and didn't want to, I just wanted to wake up thin or wake up in shape. But that ain't how it work. You gotta be locked in mentally. You gotta tell yourself mentally, this is it. I'm about to give all of this, all I got, and then do it. She didn't do it. She didn't fucking do it. Very, very bothering, very. Cause she's 25, she got a whole life in front of her. Or do she? That's the question. Cause if you already pre-diabetic at 25, how long do you think you can go before you drop the pre and you just a diabetic? Take an insulin. It gets bad, people. That's why you gotta take this shit serious. Not just the house of no bullshit. You gotta take your life serious. You have to take you serious. Don't commit to something and then be a quitter. And then act as if you're a part of the whole, I'm trying to live my life for Christ, for God. And you think God and quitting goes in the same sentence? You think God and giving up goes in the same sentence? What God are you talking about? Whew, I could go on for days, but I'm gonna close the here. These participants were amazing. All but that one. She is a goddamn quarter. Till next time. House of No Bullshit Locked In Edition. <laughs> we'll see you then.